It's an ML Sports Steak here from Rosie's Corner. Stop by for pizza, wings, hot and cold subs, and more. I am on a pastrami Reuben heater right now. I'm waiting for that to come out of the oven. Cannot wait to eat that. Of course, you can put your chips and your pickles with your sandwiches as well. Here at Rosie's Corner, a proud ML Sports Platter sponsor. I'm in the dining area in the back, so make sure that you head on over to Route 11 in Burton and grab some lunch today. Pizza wings throughout the week. Try the Meatball Bomber, the Gold Fever, the Garlic Parm Wings. Tremendous place to eat all week long. Gift cards are available for every occasion as well. And sneaky foods too. The stuffed shells, the classic burger. You can grab the lasagna. Uh, also some fried appetizers as well. Don't forget the comfort food is right around the corner, including Meatloaf Monday and Chicken and Biscuit Wednesday. All right, Fran Brown, we know, has clearly changed the outlook of Syracuse football. He's changed the image. He's changed the culture immediately. We know he can recruit. We know he, he's a great dude. We know he's a leader of men. We know all of those things that we heard about, the hype and expectation about Fran Brown, the guy, Fran Brown, the recruiter, Fran Brown, the builder, Fran Brown, everything. It's not only lived up to, but I think it's exceeded the hype and the expectations. Now the question becomes, can Fran Brown coach? He's jumping from a secondary position coach uh, you know, at Georgia to becoming the head coach of Syracuse football. Can he coach with two minutes left to go in a game? Can he manage the game correctly? Spending timeouts, right? Uh, uh, everything that goes into being a head coach, the CEO role, as the season goes on with a couple losses in a row. How do you deal with a losing streak? How do you deal with the media both locally and nationally. How do you deal with all of that as you fight through the adversity? The CEO job as a head coach, you got to not only worry about the defense and offense, you got to worry about media. You got to worry about where players are. You got to worry about different things inside the walls at the facility. You have to worry about injuries. You have to worry about addressing different things that you never had to worry about. Think about when coordinators in the NFL will jump from you know, an OC to uh, an HC job or a DC to an HC job, and they're completely overwhelmed. There are a bunch of coaches that come to mind in Buffalo, the Mike Malarkeys, the Chan Galleys, the Rex Ryans of the world, those kind of guys, they don't necessarily make that clean jump. It's the same thing in college football, but Fran Brown isn't doing it from a DC to an HC. He's jumping from two levels down to an HC. So can the guy coach? Let's find out. I'm not saying he can. I'm not saying he can't. We just haven't seen it yet. That's what's left for us here. Now, one thing that's big time is the schedule really, really favors Syracuse this year. No Florida State, no Clemson. You got some softies out of conference. You start the first four games of the season at home. Syracuse can take advantage of the schedule, hoping, I think, to go eight and four minimum. Good grief. If you can go nine and three, start the season strong, build some sustainability, those recruits are just going to come, come in at that point. They're just going to keep looking Syracuse's way. The entire country has looked towards Fran Brown. He's gotten coaches and players from SEC uh, territory, hotbed of, of football. Let's see if the guy can coach now in the big-time moments, the big-time games, when it matters most. Rosie's Corner, pizza, wings, hot and cold subs, and more. going to go jump over there and grab my pastrami Reuben as well. Hey, don't forget, with Rosie's Corner as well, you are eating and shopping local on a daily basis. Stop by here, Route 11, in front of the Burton Bridge. As I always tell you, enjoy the games.